taught prosperity. And I love that because she didn't allow you to bring no broke down, ugly looking vehicle up on this property. <laughs> Get out of here and find something that looks worthy of Christ. And you put consciousness to work and drove up in a Lincoln Continental or Mercedes Benz and paid the notes. But she did more than that. She fed God within. And that is what each of us as pastors have to do to the people that look to us, feed God within them so that as God grows in them in this marvelous Christ consciousness, then they will go out into the world and challenge Satan and put Satan under their foot. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So Dr. Coleman, I am the one that's honored to be here tonight to pay deep respect and honor to the God that I see constantly flowing from you. May God continue to flow in you, enrich you, grow you more and more in his wisdom and spirit. And may these that love you feed on God from you that when you and I and the Reverend Jackson and the Reverend Hardy and the Reverend B. Herbert Martin and the Reverend Barbara King, when we will cease this labor, we can lay down with a smile. I close with these words from the Quran. Were you present when death visited Jacob? Of course, none of us were. But look at how he left. He was on his bed, and he called his sons around him. And he said to them, what? Will you serve after me? And they said, We will serve the God of our fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he smiled and took his rest. Let us all, let us all look to those that Look to us. Feed them well so that when we lay down, we can ask them, what will you serve after me? And the followers of the Reverend Dr. Johnny Coleman will say, we will serve the Christ that you serve, that made you this marvelous example for us.